what is fifth arrow the final one as fifth arrow representing copying data from hive table to hive table only hive table to hive table only for example i have table is there uh, select the star from emp table to enter five columns is there i don't want five columns i want two columns only or three columns only create a table create table table name emp underscore table five some column names department number integer some column names enter one table is created string spell mistake type error enter another table created by the name emp table 5 now what i'm doing is i copy the data from emp table 2 to emp table 5 emp table 2 to emp table 5 how can i copy 50 arrow one table to another table within the high only what is the syntax yes the 50 arrow this is the syntax insert override table table name target table select a statement Similar to SQL query only. Override table, table name, table five, then select if you want three columns. First column is integer, so select EID, second column is string, okay, let's take E name. What is the column names of table 2? Same column names we want to mention here. I don't know column names. Describe. Table 2. This is the column names. Now, insert. Override table. Table name. EID comma. E name comma. So here I want three columns now. In table 5, I mentioned three columns only. So here I want this. First column is integer, second column is string, third column is integer. For example, loading nulls. Insert override table, table name. E name, comma, department number. Okay, manually do the wrong. I am taking here gender because gender is a string. But here my third column is integer. From EMP table to enter. Now we are going to writing the data. Yes. Process started. Yes, data loading successfully. Select store from EMP table 5. Enter. Yes, three columns data is displayed. Employee ID, employee name, and the third column also. But null is loading. If I want to see the same thing in backend, the data is properly is there or not? Writing time, there is no problem, but real time only. Hadoop, FS, iPhone, LS, user, high, warehouse. Here, yes. Hadoop, FS, iPhone, LS, user, high, warehouse, listener, DB2, EMP table. Enter. One file name is coming by the name 60s underscore zero. Yes, I open this file. Six underscore zero change ls to cat yes 
is there integer is there okay yeah here also null is coming yeah yeah got it why here null is coming because we are right you are overwriting within the limit within the hdfs that's where here null is coming integer yes yes one second but here i am going to take now upon main number yes now it is coming properly yes yeah Yes. Now the deployment number is coming. Yes. Why it is coming now? Huh? One more important point is there. The point is the first four arrows. First four arrows. When you are type to running that time, there is no map root is running. Simply we are copying the data, loading it. But let's say the fifth arrow. If you are type to running the fifth arrow, at that time only map root is running. See mapping zero percent, reducing zero percent, mapping hundred percent, reducing zero percent. That internal framework is running. Okay, that time the internal mapping work, work is going on now. That's why it's taking the data null only, back end also null only, and only. Writing also at the time of writing also is taking null only. Okay, but before that one, at the time of first two four arrows. Just we are loading the data as easily. There is no any map produce work. You can absorb it previous queries also. As it is data loading into HDFS. Now we are doing the queries within HDFS only. Not some outside. We are write, we are not writing outside to HDFS. Some other two HDFS. We are manipulating data within HDFS within that two. Hive to hive. Yes, that's why it's following the schema. Yes. 